What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the iOS 10.2 jailbreak conspiracy. Now, everything that I say in this video, take with a grain of salt, because honestly, I don't know what I'm talking about. So you're probably thinking, well, why am I watching this video if you have no idea what you're talking about? Well, I'm just gonna give you the information that I have read, and then you guys can make a decision for yourself. Because honestly, I don't know, and I don't know how to check it, but it's something that has come up so I figured that I would share it with you guys so you guys would know about it too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So if you guys haven't heard, Luca Tedesco, or QWERTY Bro, as he's known on this channel, has just released a mixtape on the App Store. Now we talked about releasing the mixtape the entire time that he was developing the jailbreak. Now he said that the official jailbreak would be released with a mixtape, is basically what he said. I don't have the actual tweet, maybe I can find it. If I do, I'll put it right there and you guys can see. But as of yesterday, Luca Tedesco's mixtape just hit the App Store. So basically, in this video, what I want you guys to do is download the mixtape. That's basically the, the end goal of this entire video. Whether or not it actually is anything, that's up for you to decide. And I just don't know and I don't know how to check. That's why I said I'm just going to give you guys this information. So basically what happened here is somebody downloaded the mixtape app because it's on the App Store. And then what they did is they looked at the methods within that mixtape app using a tweet called Flex3. So if you take a look at the methods within this mixtape app, there's actually some somewhat suspicious methods as you can see right here. So you can see begin jailbreak. You can see enable Cydia from shortcut item. So whether or not this is just leftover code or even possibly, you know, QWERTY bro just trolling all of us, which is very possible, I have no idea. I just think that it's worth downloading the application so you have it on your phone just in case there's a possibility that maybe this mixtape app is a method of getting past that seven day cert. So there's a lot of speculation that this app is actually going to provide you with that one year certificate. So there was actually a pretty lengthy uh, comment by Sorik, which all of his comments are pretty lengthy, but there was something that alluded to uh, well, I guess in his own words, something epic and hilarious that is going to solve the seven day certificate issue that we have with the current jailbreak. So if you take a look at the last paragraph, he says, I ended up handing off most of the quote unquote hilarious slash epic solution to this problem, which I note won't even require putting in your Apple ID into anything at all off to the, I think still unnamed, but everyone has their theories person I am working with on that. And apparently it's almost done. And then he goes on to talk about there's also going to be a second solution that he is actually working on that will possibly help with a seven day certificate as well. So there was one user on Reddit that said, this is my theory. And he said, basically step one would be having a preloaded app store app, which would be this mixtape player with removed items to get ready for the jailbreak. Step two would be to inject the jailbreak into the app. And then step three, boom, permanent jailbreak. It's possible, likely, I have literally no idea. So that's why I'm saying take everything that I say with a grain of salt, but at the same time, it's possibly a consideration. So really all that you have to do in order to take advantage of this right now is download the app. Of course, I'll put the link to the app in the description of this video. Whether or not it has anything to do with a jailbreak, at least you'll get a sweet mixtape app that I've listened to some of the songs on it and they're <laughs> they're kind of funny. Of course, there are some naysayers on Reddit as there should be because this is very possibly you know, absolutely nothing at all. But basically what this guy is saying that he started this project and when he did, this mixtape was supposed to be inside the jailbreak. So he actually decided to make a separate app and then he removed the exploits but left some of the methods and a view, view controller hidden. And then you also see that Luca actually tweeted out, trolling delusional jailbreak kids is a fun endeavor. This was shortly after that post on Reddit was posted. So is he trolling us? Very possibly. I mean, he's smarter than I am in terms of this shit, so I don't know. I literally don't know. But at the same time, all you have to do is download the app and then you're set. So whether you believe it or you don't believe it, I think right now if you want to download the application just to be safe, then you should. If you know 100% that it's nothing whatsoever, then don't download it. And the only reason I'm getting this message out right now is because if it in fact does have some type of exploit in it or it is somehow useful to the jailbreak then it's probably going to be removed very soon from the app store 
So some people might be saying, okay, Cody, thanks a lot for bringing a whole lot of attention to this app. But in actuality, I think that this will get more people to download this app than me keeping my mouth shut and you know, a lot of people go unnoticed without getting this mixtape app. So the moral of this video is, you have nothing to lose if you download this app. It's not malicious, it's got some sick tunes, it's about 100 megs, and even on that slight chance that it could possibly be helpful to the jailbreak, then you've downloaded it and you have it on your device. I can't wait to hear all the shit that you guys are gonna say in the comments about this. All right guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button really helps me out. Of course, you guys want to stay up to date with everything Jailbreak as well as everything Apple and everything else that I talk about. Or if you ever just want to see my face again, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. If this turns out to be faked, I wasn't trolled. I'm just ignorant. I literally just don't know.